Hello everyone, welcome back to Sully Rods and Customs. Today we're going to fix a frosted headlight. So you can see how bad these headlights are. I started repairing one of the passenger side. I'll show you what I've done. Um, and I thought oh, it might be a good video to show people actually how to do it. Um, my way of doing it, I sand them back. You can sand them and buff them and polish them. Um, or you can sand them and give them a clear coat. If you buff them and polish them, they frost over again after a while. But if you give them a clear coat, they um, actually stay clear for years. So I'll show you the difference between the two. I'll grab the camera here. Right, so that's how my headlight looked before I started. And that's how my headlight looks after I've sanded and clear coated the headlight. This is not trick photography. This is actually how good the headlight comes up. It looks like a brand new headlight in there. Look at that one compared to that one there. So I'll just run you through the process. So I'll um, I'll explain it as I go and you'll watch me actually sand it in real time and then paint it in real time and you'll see how it looks. Keep watching. So the first thing I do is I, um, I'll mask off around any bit of paint that's in there. You can actually pop the headlight out if you want but it's a bit of a pain in the ass in this car. There's a lot of stuff to come out to get to it. So I'm going to mask off everywhere around it with a bit of masking tape. And then I've got this um, uni mask. It's pre-taped plastic film. You can see here it's got the um, it's got the actual masking tape already on the plastic, so when you finish masking, you go around the edges and when you pull it all out, protect the rest of your paint. So I'll, I'll mask it up and then um, I'll show you the sanding process. Right, so what I've got here is I have some Dura block sanding blocks. I've got a flat one, a little um, square sort of shape one, a rectangle shape one, and I have. Um, Great, different grades of wet and dry. I have 2,000, 1,500, 800 in here somewhere, I think. There's a 800 and a 400. So leave them in the bucket, let them get nice and wet, let them soak up. You don't want any hard parts on them. Um, I'm going to start with the 400 grit, which is this one here. You can see that. Headlight's going to get a hell of a lot worse than it looks right now before it gets better. So um, hopefully when I finish you'll see it kind of has a nice clear coat finish to it. But um, for now you can feel it's really rough. So I'm going to use this flat block because you don't want to actually change the quality of your lens too much by just using your fingers. So I'm going to use this flat block to knock it down nice and flat. And you can see this is like a, a cream coming off the front of this thing. So Keep it nice and flat if you can. If you don't, just get a little bit of wood that you think is nice and flat or something um, a bit more solid that oh, has a little bit of flex in it. Like this, I can bend this block around there and keep it nice and flat. And I can see now that that, that lens is really scratched from, from this sanding process. And if you have a look, it's um, not very clear anymore. Um, but that's what I'm trying to achieve. I'm trying to knock off all those I don't know, like dead high spots on it that were there before where the plastic had gone off. It doesn't take very long. I think sanding on each headlight probably takes you maybe five, ten minutes. I'll show you an actual time here. Like the bottom here is not so bad, so I'm not going to hit that with the heavy stuff. I'm just going to probably use the 1500 and, and 2000 on that. This little top edge here is quite yellow. Look at this top edge. And you can hear, if I hit the panel and I've got uh, masking tape on it, it's not going to have any effect on it, which is why it's all over taped. And look, you don't have to put this much plastic around the car, but I put it there so if you've ever, ever painted a car, um, you'll know that um, all this sanding residue stuff is hard to get off, in all, get off from all those sort of tricky, tricky locations. So just um, follow the radius around the side of your headlight if it's if it's not flat. Then once I've finished doing it flat, I'll just go around lots of small little circles, take the long scratches out of it. And you'll see this headlight's going to look really bad in a second. But as I go through the grades, you'll see this headlight will be um, become crystal clear.
Now, to do the top, I just do it by hand because it's really hard to fit that exact radius there. And if you don't sand every part of the headlight, then the, the clear coat won't stick to it. Get around the sides here too, so it'll stick around the back of the indicator lens there. Actually, it's not the indicator, it's just a reflector. Getting that groove down in there, because I can see there's a lot of dirt and debris in that groove down there. You don't want to clear coat that in. Get this front edge here. Alright, give it a bit of a bit of a rinse off. With this same water, it's not like it's not like you're painting a car, it doesn't have to be exactly um, dirt free. So that's the 400 done. Now we're gonna step it up to 800 when I find it here. There it is here. I'll just make sure that camera's still rolling on the area that you want it. I might actually bring it a bit closer. So you can actually see the lens better. Is that there you go? Right, so you can see this is um 800 wet and dry. Going for the same process now. All I'm doing is 800 is just taking all the scratches out that the 400 left behind. So it doesn't take as long as that um, the 400 did. Nice and flat, make sure you don't change the, the lens sort of quality. You don't want to sort of refract your headlights a different different beam sort of position or a softer beam. Let's go around the side here. And again, I just go over, hand tend all the, the softer areas around the radiuses and stuff. To make sure you don't see any harsh scratches left behind from that 400. Give it a quick one over. Make sure I haven't missed any anywhere. Get that groove again. Get through in there. Now I'm going to start giving the bottom a bit of a, a bit of a sand. Just got to be careful with the bottom. There's lots of writing on it. Talks about it when this one says the right headlight. It's got it says right hand here. It's got the part number and stuff on it. So just be mindful of all that. It's really hard to sand in there. I just sort of go around it a little bit, best I can in the gaps. Give another rinse off. Now you can see it, it's like a, a frosted headlight, so from here it starts getting better. So we're on 1500 now, you can see there's 1500 wet and dry. Go through the whole process again. You can hear now it's it's really not as um, abrasive. It's a nice soft, soft sound. And when it's wet you can actually stop, kind of see the headlights starting to come clear. These headlights are really bad. Um, I've seen worse, but um, you can actually polish them back up from this point in time. But like I said, if you polish them up, they they yellow up again and in a year or two's time and they look like crap again, you've got to go and do it again. But if you clear coat them and you do it properly, the clear coat um, lasts years. See the areas where there's scratches from the from the previous sanding, so I just 
redo those areas. Get around the side here. And then go again by hand on all these radius or soft areas. You really want the whole headlight to have a nice consistent look about it. Again, just a quick one over by hand to make sure you've missed no, no areas there. Get the radiuses on the edges. Get this groove down the guts here. Get that indicator and reflector section down the bottom. And then rinse it off again. Like I said, each time you do this, it, um, it takes less time on each, each sand each paper. So right now we're on 2000. So you can already see that headlight is not bad, severely frosted anymore. It's coming pretty good. So we're on 2000 now. This just sounds like I'm rubbing it with normal paper, but it is taking the scratches out from the previous, from the previous sand. is very smooth before I started this this lens was like um, it was like sandpaper itself again like I mentioned before you can you can sand and polish these back with a with like an automotive polish a cut and polish and a polish and um, and you get a good result as well but um, these were a bit far gone and etched so I'm just doing them this way to give you another option all right get this bottom get this bottom bit of crossy in here and then go for all the soft edges again Radius is around the sides here. Go straight over the top of it once more. Get that slot down the middle. And then I'm going to blow dry this with my little Ryobi blower. A bit of wax and grease remover just to clean the lens up before I put some paint on it. Oops. Get that over there. You can see how how dry and and white it looks now. This wax and grease remover will kind of show you what it's going to look like when it's when it's all finished. Make sure you spend a bit of time and get all that crap out, all that sanding solution out from in and around around the headlight and all the little radiuses and gaps, whatever you leave behind is going to be visible when you when you put this paint coat on it so get in all these areas here it's 
there is in the back here you can't actually see in the camera but I can see when I open the open the bonnet or what they say in America open the hood now let's give the headlights another one so over with this stuff just to make sure it's super clean Let that dry off. Um, while that's drying, I'll show you. This is just, there's nothing special. This is just a can of um, clear enamel that I got out of Super Cheap Autos. I've already shaken up a fair bit before I did the other headlight. I'll just give this another take here. Check that the prep side's all dried off, and then we'll um, just stay rear. All right, that's dry now. And then we'll just give it a coat of, coat of paint. What's that with freaking hair on there? Got it off. There you go. Have a look at that headlight. Awesome. There you have it. I'll take the tape off the front of the car and I'll, I'll show you. I'll let it dry for a bit and I'll show you how the car looks now um, compared to before. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you, do, if you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button um, and keep watching for, for more little tips and tricks. See you next time. There we go, that's the finished product. You can see how awesome those headlights look compared to what they used to look. Really, really made the car look a heck of a lot newer than it was looking at the time. So, um, been doing those headlights, I figured I might as well fix up my wife's Kluger headlights as well. You can see how, how dull and frosted they are on the top there. I've done this one too and you can see how crystal clear that headlight is there now. Nice and clean on the top. So there you go, it doesn't take that long, maybe half an hour per headlight. And, um, and you can get it done. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure if you like what you're seeing, just hit the like button. Um, and subscribe to the channel. Keep watching along. Sully's Rods and Customs for more videos on little things I've got to fix up on some of my cars and sometimes it's other people's cars.